fires sparking or growing pretty rapidly this weekend will increase because of some monsoonal weather. So the chance of dry lightning is going to be in the forecast. And so therefore we might even see a fire weather watch as we get closer to this weekend. It looks like there's some moisture associated, but it's at the upper levels. And so at the lower levels, the air mass is pretty dry and we are going to be heating up. And so I'll show you that on the models in just a little bit, but just know that that's a possibility as we get into this weekend uh, and as well as warming temperatures. However, the clouds that will be moving in from that monsoonal weather will cool our temperatures off just a little more than we were expecting in the degrees. It's not too warm. And you can see that marine layer that's right at the coastline from Ventura all the way down into areas of the south. South Bay seeing a lot of low 80s out there right now and even some upper 70s. We'll let you know though how much warmer and hotter it's going to get in the coming days in just a bit. Philip, I'll send it back to you for now. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Sundale Boulevard. So if you're headed southbound, you're going to hit quite a bit of traffic if you are through this area and south. We'll have another check in just a little bit. For now, John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Brianna, thank you. We've been unable to find any updates, but we're still seeing quite a bit of a backup as you're traveling down that 15 southbound right at Cleghorn, the 110 connection in downtown LA, and everything is moving smoothly here. We'll have another check in just a bit. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Brianna, thank you. Right, the R-rated Deadpool and Wolverine is now breaking weekday box office records .com. I'm entering the orange menace. I've got some great video clips. Ahead. That's right, John. Yeah. He's so entertaining. Yeah, he's all a right. tyrant. Well, but, you um, can head to either of those areas and uh, catch all the cat videos. You better win. I'm telling folks now. <laughs> That's so funny. He's got some good stuff. I'm not a cat person, but cat videos. <laughs> that was a good. good one. That was a yeah. good little clip and teaser. Yep. All if right. they make you laugh. Causing some traffic. Now, we have a couple lanes blocked off, but there are a couple that are open, so you will be able to get through it. Uh, there's a car fire on the 7 to 5 South is looking wide open if you're headed southbound on that freeway. Either way, just know this is now getting closer to backing up to about Washington Boulevard, so it is moving slowly, but we'll let you know when those other lanes reopen soon. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay. We had the trailer of a semi that caught fire, and so we do have a couple lanes that are blocked off. The number four and five lanes are right at Glen Helen. And Parkway and so you're going to hit some traffic there and it's kind of just jam-packed in this entire area because on the other side you have some drivers probably just moving slowly plan ahead you do have Cajon Boulevard though to try and get around some of that a quick look at real-time traffic heading into downtown LA at the 5 and 60 interchange and it's not too bad actually the 60 is looking better than the 5 but overall uh, hasn't been too difficult of a morning we have Scott Rife up in air 7